Give us sunrise. We have three lionesses on set joining me, Queen Lion, of course. <laughs> the Caribbean Women Honors and Empowerment will host their fundraising workshop this Saturday, November 18, geared towards assisting our Caribbean neighbors who were badly affected by Hurricane Irma. Nicole McLaren Campbell is set to be the keynote speaker alongside other speakers who will be tackling the topic of goal setting and effective time management. Here in studio with us are Delmaris White. She's the regional director. We also have Mel Zeta and district manager, uh, Mel, well, Mel Zeta Smith is here. And we have social media and publicity strategy strategist Tamara who is also here I think we got all the titles mixed up but you clear that up for us right no Del kick it off what is CWHE Caribbean Women Honors and Empowerment is a global initiative our headquarters is in Canada Toronto uh, it is one of the brands from diversity advancement and it's really a movement that tries to empower and educate women about the issues that affect them where they are so they can be empowered and try to deal with it uh, so here in Kingston, Jamaica, we have a couple of chapters in Kingston, actually we have four. Mm. And then for the rest of the region, we have about six countries that have signed up. And so um, this particular event that we'll talk about today is an important event for us in how we treat with the issues women are facing and how we can, through education, empower and kind of show them an, a, an opportunity or a way in how to address some of the problems that they have. Okay, lovely. Yes. I mean, very um, empowering for women. Tamara, we have four chapters in Kingston alone. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of Jamaica? Or okay, do you so cover we, Jamaica? what we're trying to do is to ensure, because we recently came to Jamaica, is that we don't expand too quickly. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to build structure and base before we branch off and launch chapters in other parishes. We do have a St. Catherine chapter and a Westmoreland chapter, but they're pretty young. And so we're trying to develop that base, train the ladies, so that they're able to sufficiently manage and expand this movement throughout Jamaica. What's the honors for in, uh, in CWHE, Mel? The honors, it represents you know, highlighting our women and their achievements. And so we, we celebrate with the women and what they have accomplished in their lifetime. All right, so specifically Irma, those countries that you know were ravished by Hurricane Irma. Are you going into these countries and dealing with women only or just women going in to empower? I think um, the initiative we try to on our end in Jamaica, uh, we're having this fundraiser so we can lend support to them. But there are chapters, I'll tell you, there's a chapter in Haiti, in Grenada, in Barbados, St. Lucia, and Bahamas. And those other chapters have also done work in terms of how they can support. Um, not all the time, countries um, possibly like Antigua and Barbuda expects to get um, financial resources. There are other ways in which uh, we can help as women. And so uh, I think um, the initiative here that we're going to talk about will speak to having this fundraise and what it is we intend to do with the resources or how we can leverage our support throughout the rest of the region to bring women together to discuss what it is they're going through, what they're facing, and how actually in the home country or possibly in other territories, how they can assist. Uh, we have had some empower her chats via social media. And um, you know, we, we're trying to t let them talk talk about how they're being impacted and what resources we need to send to them. Okay. Yeah. And of course, you get that money from fundraising activities such right. as this one. Tamara, yes. tell us about this. Okay. So we decided, as Del said, um, we look for opportunities to develop women mm -hmm. and engage them in a way that allows for sharing of stories and, and so on and bring them together, just unite them. And so we decided that um, in order to raise sufficient funds, we wanted to combine um, time management and goal setting because these were pretty important topics um, if you're looking at personal development and moving forward. And we reached out to Nicole McLaren Campbell and we're so happy that she so willingly came on board to help us with this. In fact, she's also donating part of the, her book sales. Her books will be on sale and she's donating that also to our initiative. Oh. Um, she saw it so fit to, to help us out in this kind of way. It's also on our page for persons who wish to check it out um, and to register with us. But we felt this was a really powerful way to get those funds going and to help our neighbors. Hmm. Mel, what will be um, the biggest challenge you think on the day or what is the biggest experience you're looking forward to? The biggest experience, I would say, is for women who will be coming um, yes, we've set the premise for them, 
But when you come, we'll be doing some vision boards as well. And I've participated in sessions like that before, and I've seen where it has impacted different lives. It inspired, we inspire women to dream mm -hmm. and to properly plan for their lives. So I'm looking forward to that session and to see the, the excitement on their faces. What's vision boarding? Because uh, um, for our viewers out there, because January is coming, and we want to you know start a clear off the dirty slate and write a new slate and a new vision for 2018. Tell us what's a vision board. Okay, well, in quick summary, um, what it pretty much is, it's you putting your life into perspective. Um, growing up, we say that we want to be a doctor, but somewhere along the line, we've changed our professions. So it's going back to that frame of mind to say, this is what I really want to do. And in the next five years, these are the steps that I'll be taking to achieve that. No matter how impossible it is, you may put in different pictures that helps to depict your ideal lifestyle and just putting it there somewhere that you'll be able to see it and work towards that. Mm. So this, this is fundraising. So even though information will be shared, right. you also want persons to register and contribute to yes. something great. Why should a woman out there, a man out there listening, be a part of this conference? Because I think in our everyday lives, we have challenges. Uh, for those of us who are entrepreneurs, for those of us who have achieved a lot, sometimes we just need a sounding board or someone to lend us assistance to get to. Uh, where we want to be, you know. So um, having a forum or even a setting where you can sit and talk. You know, Jamaica is a society where talk shows are just running the day. So we know we are talkers. So if we can give individuals an opportunity to come, sit, talk, and learn, we believe that we can change things. And it's through the advocacy and the power of the voice. So we want to invite men, women, young girls to join this movement. Uh, be a mover or a shaker where you are. You can lead, especially in our organization. We try to uh, nurture yes. internally first so that people can be strengthened, so they can lead groups. So if you're in a church group or in your community and you want to do more, we invite you to join Caribbean Women Honors and Empowerment. Suppose yes. I want to be a, be a member of um, Caribbean Women's. I mean, she just mentioned, yes. mentioned that we can join. How do we do that? All right, so membership is free. There's no charge for membership. Um, really, we are targeting anyone who is 14 years old or older. Um, and what we are looking for are vibrant women who believe in what we stand for, which is basically equality, respect, equal opportunities for everyone. And so in order to become a member, what we would invite persons to do is to send us an email. We'll send you information in terms of what it is that we do. And if it is that you, find, you believe you'll find a home with us, then you can join and become a member. Our email address is C W H E. Kingston South at gmail.com and we would want persons to show that interest if you if you believe in chat um, sorry if you believe in empowerment and just equality and personal development come on board woman power woman power yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mel I mean the younger women and the younger girls you know who are out there and like okay I want to be a part of something that gives back to the community um, will they feel okay to express themselves and you know not be stifled by the older persons in the group and stuff based on your experience yes well we we encourage the well women of all ages with our interactions thus far it's a freedom of speech there's no hostility and we we preach unity and that's what we practice as well so feel free there's freedom of discussion there are many topics that are explored so we encourage you to, to join us. Send us a message. Uh, we're also on Instagram at CWHE Kingston South. You can also find us on Facebook. So send us a message. I will respond, and we will respond to you oh, as well. Oh, OK. So as a social media person, you make sure that it, the pages are attractive to yes. the younger people, right? Yes, most <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm also to add that because it's a new initiative, uh, we are now uh, you have an opportunity to shape how we yes. treat with the various issues in society. Mm -hmm. So if it's crime and violence, that's your passion, then come on board, lead a group that's looking at those types of issues. Yes. If it's entrepreneurship or education or violence against young girls, so you're able to actually shape that group and move it. So we want people to come on and give us some ideas. Yes. Where are the issues that we need to address? And then we become the advocate for them and the issues that they're trying to um, um, promote. All right. Yes. So remind us again, when is the workshop and okay. where we can register and the cost? No problem. So the workshop is Saturday, November this 18th. Saturday. This Saturday, mm -hmm. 
Right, and it starts at two, it's a five hour long workshop. Um, and it's because we really wanted to pack in a get together a good package for everyone. So we're doing the goal setting. We, we have combined some motivation in it through Nicole McLaren Campbell to get people starting off on a good footing. We have also engaged Simone Williams who will do our effective time management because that's a part of the challenge that we have. You know, you set those goals, but daily lives and other priority take over, you know, at some point. So you really need to know how to juggle your priorities in order to get the best outcome. And so persons who are interested, we invite you also to just email us at CWHE Kingston South at gmail.com. We'll send you all the information you need to know about the workshop, the costs. Today, if you're watching this interview as a special, we are actually giving you 50% off. <gasps> and so you pay only 1,500 to come to this workshop. Refreshments included, entertainment, prizes, and giveaways. The original cost would have been 3,000. But just because you're watching this interview today, 1,500. Wow, that's a treat. So just <laughs> call them up and say, hey, I saw you ladies on CVM at Sunrise, and I want to come to the conference. 1, I was knocked off. Say thanks to CVM at Sunrise. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, ladies, thank you for passing through and for sharing all of this with us. And good luck with Caribbean Women Honors and Empowerment. Thank you for We take us. a break. There's more on when we return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, I really have so much love.